Hey guys, I'm Tim Lynch with Red Dog Bushcraft. Well, just a little update of what's going on here in Eastern Virginia. Time change is coming up this coming weekend, and according to my log books, that's when the specs are going to start hitting uh, out in the Chickahominy Lake and some of the other larger lakes and tributaries. Uh, this week's weather forecast is we're going to start having some warm days all week long and that's going right along with my log book so it's time to transition so i'm out here putting away all of my dp coon traps the foothold traps are already cleaned and dipped dyed they're all ready to go so they'll be good to go next year I tried to do those at the end of the season this year instead of waiting like i did this year and barely had time to let them hang long enough before i got those out in the field but these dps uh, they're relatively new to me and last year I had some issues trying to clean down inside of them Where you get some of that bait and lure down in there and it's a little bit hard to get out and a bottle wash and brush and Other things just didn't work that well uh, For me so talking to some other people who trap and they use a power washer to clean them I don't own a power washer mine died last year. I haven't purchased a new one yet so I went down to the car wash, but then you've got a problem with trying to keep them up and I'm not spraying all over the place when you're trying to wash them. So what I did was there was a grate there um, where the water goes down into it. And I found that I could stick these down in there and I took a piece of two by four that I had out in, in the back of my truck and set up against it so it kept them upright at a little bit of an angle. And I could put the cleaner and spray them with that, let them set for a few minutes and then come back with that power washer and all of them that I had with me, of course, I had three in the bucket that I <laughs> I've got to do later now. Uh, but all of them cleaned up very well. And then what I like to do is I just got some of this camouflage paint, and I've tried around with the different colors. I've bought white traps, camo traps. Uh, it really the color doesn't seem to make a difference in the way that I trap. But then turn around and get, put a good coat of paint back on those so they can hang once again and they'll be ready to go for trapping season next year. So we're transitioning from trapping to coming up on the fishing season. So here's a quick tip for you. I like to take just plain old glass cleaner or baby wipes and spray down my rods after they've been packed away all winter long. And then I just take furniture polish and give that a quick spray once I've removed the reel. And you'll notice that I held it at the grip and I sprayed away from the grip. I don't really like to get the furniture polish down on the cork or any of the other materials down where the grips of the rod are. Pay particular attention and get those eye, these guides really well making sure that there's no abrasion inside of these you know, that can cause you to lose some nice fish and prematurely wear your line out causing snags and affects the castability and all of that but once you've wiped that down now you're ready to clean the reel put the reel on there with some fresh line and you'll be good to go for a lot of time outside that furniture polish seems to be the best thing that i found for protecting the outside of these rods so weather's getting warm just thought i'd let you know where we are and what we're doing maybe encourage you to make some time and do the same thing thanks for joining me i'm tim langston with red dog bushcraft home of global safety and survival until next time god bless guys